uh, satellite and radar is quiet tonight. We, you know, you see all this green showing up. There's a lot of dry air underneath it. These we call it fake returns. None of this is really hitting the ground. Maybe out west, a couple little sprinkles are hitting the ground. Otherwise, we're just kind of priming the atmosphere for our chances of rain this work week. Take a look at the drought monitor. Terrible situation for all of North Texas. You have extreme and exceptional drought, the highest levels of drought classification uh, here across the Metroplex. Uh, outside of that, you have moderate to severe drought. So we desperately need a good rain. We will get some this week. Some of you a lot more than others, but if you look at the whole state, I mean, really most of Texas not doing great. The Panhandle's doing all right in West Texas, and ironically, that's where the best rain chances and the heaviest rain totals are expected in the coming days. So let's talk about it. A pattern change is occurring this week. You're not going to notice a huge difference in temperatures over the next about week. I mean, we're going to be pretty consistently in the low to mid 80s, but cloud cover, some scattered rain throughout the day tomorrow. It's not a washout of a Monday, but here and there we'll have some scattered waves of showers and a few thunderstorms. Nothing severe. Let's get into Monday night. Most of us are dry. Tuesday morning looks to start off dry. Then we'll have another chance for some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms. You can see them there. They're 7 p.m. Your coverage, 40 percent. So. Most of you will not see any sort of significant rain, but over you know, the next five, six days, that will start to add up. So there's your 40% coverage of rain. Uh, then on Wednesday, we have that another chance of uh, some more scattered showers and storms. The best chance of rain this upcoming week looks to be Wednesday night into Thursday. It's really going to depend on the timing of this. So you can see 7 p.m. Wednesday. Here comes this cluster of showers and storms. Right now, the severe risk for North Texas looks low. But I'm not going to rule it out with this particular batch. Uh, Wednesday night into Thursday, you'll see some showers and thunderstorms a little more widespread. And then by Thursday afternoon, most of us, uh, except for eastern portions of North Texas, will see some uh, drier conditions. Then on Friday, another chance to see some scattered showers and storms. Heaviest totals out to the west, one to three inches of rain here in North Texas. Now this is for the whole week. It's not just one day or it's not every, you know, it's not each day we're getting one to two inches. Uh, you accumulate the rain over the next five to seven days. Most areas will pick up about an inch. The highest totals will be to the west of the Metroplex and the lowest down to the southeast, where it could be only half an inch. Tonight, 68 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, still dry and breezy. Tomorrow, 82. It'll be a cloudy day with scattered rain and thunderstorms. 14-day forecast. See the steady temps. They're really not moving all the way through the weekend. Then a stronger push of cooler air will come in for the following week just in time for Halloween. Highs will be in the lower 60s, lows will be in the 40s, uh, and it looks like the second half of the 14. Uh, a little on the cooler side of things, but you know, the last couple of days, Teresa, we're in the 90s. I know, I know. So will this be real fall? <laughs> I guess you never really know. You never know. Summer could rear its ugly head in November again, couldn't it? It could. All right, Jesse, thank you.